Well, do you ever look so long at the screens in your life, from your computer to your phone to your television, your gaming system, that you actually start feeling sick? This is a surprise. It actually has a name now. It's called cyber sickness, and left unchecked can, can cause some real problems, short term and long term. So new this morning, John Shumley is picking up the copay for us for some help this morning. Hey, John. <laughs> yeah, let's start with the symptoms of cyber sickness, nausea, lightheadedness, headaches, migraines, and here's the biggie. Feeling like the world is moving around you when you're actually sitting still. You're working. You're working at 8 o'clock at night. You're working at 11 o'clock at night. What the heck? You're answering an email at 2 o'clock in the morning. Or even if you're not doing those things, you're using screen times. Allegheny Health Network's Dr. Randy Peters says you have to break the connection. Set a timer every 20 minutes. Stand up. That will also help your posture and your ergonomics, by the way. Um, stand up walk around, look at something else, look out a window, how the heck go outside. And when you're working, take notes on paper, keep a pen and paper, just the simple act of not staring at a flickering screen and, and handwriting notes on paper. Listen to a presentation or a Zoom presentation, you can do that by audio only uh, and turn off the screen if you have something else and, and look out the window, not that you're being distracted, you're trying to give better attention by listening. You can think of this as a repetitive motion injury of the eyes and the brain. The goal is not to enable yourself to be better at the repetitive motion injury. The goal is to reduce the repetitive motion. So every 20 minutes, take a break and go smoke a cigarette. <laughs> I'm God, kidding. No, no, no. no. <laughs> yeah, doctor. <laughs> oh my gosh, John. I, he was a lot of fun. I got to tell you, he really was. I couldn't help myself. But Dr. Peters says not to sound like your mother, but you need to get enough sleep and you need to eat properly and watch your posture when you're sitting in front of those screens. Yeah, you do sound like my mother right yes. now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what? I'm glad you did this story because there's so many people this may be happening to and they didn't know what was happening. Is there medicine they can at least take? Well, obviously, you can take something for the headache. You can take anti nausea medicine if that's what's bothering you. But Dr. Peters warns you're actually treating the symptoms. You need to address the root cause, which is the screen time. Otherwise, it's just going to get worse. All right, John, thanks so much.